and we're gonna change it. Bang. Oh my god! To a magma cube spawner. And I was hoping that they wouldn't be able to fit through the gap. Oh god, they're, they're breaking through already. What is going on you guys? My name is CPK. Welcome back to another video on my channel today. I'm back with another episode of Kingdom Craft, your favorite faction series on the internet where all your favorite YouTubers try to brutally murder each other and steal each other's stuff. Guys, please leave a like on this video. If you don't leave a like on this video, your favorite YouTuber's base will be raided by the evil one. I don't know who that is. I've just made them up, but they will raid your favorite YouTuber's base if you don't leave a like on this video. So welcome back to Kingdom Craft. It's actually been five days since I played. Um, now this baby looks super weird to you because I've got a zombie spawner now. I'm having a bit of an issue and that issue is that I've already recorded the video that's supposed to go out before this one. The problem is that it's a branded video so I have to wait to get approval from the brand and it's now the weekend so they can't approve it. So you're gonna see this video here before you see the video that was supposed to come out before this one. Do you understand? Are you with me? This video comes out now. The video that comes out later should have come out before this one. But it's not. So it's going to be a very confusing order, but I'm just hoping you guys can uh, get to grips with it. As to not make things too confusing, I'm really only going to do quests today. And also, I really want to find a pirate ship. Uh, I have my reasoning for that. I, I really have my reasoning for that. Um, but first... I'd like to take the silverfish spawner. We're gonna make another spawn room. Can you believe it? We're gonna make this one off of the side of the pig spawner room. So we're gonna place down this silverfish spawner right here. Bang. And we're gonna change it. Bang. Oh my god! To a magma cube spawner. And I was hoping that they wouldn't be able to fit through the gap. Oh god, they're, they're breaking through already. It's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. Oh my goodness me. Okay, oh, this is this is horrible. This is horrible. I need to play something to stop them getting through. Please relax. There are so many of you. Oh my goodness. Whoa, this is like f crazy good XP. What? I should have done this from the start. I told you, I've been sitting on these magma cube things for ages. So my plan now is I can just flick between the three of these. I got magma cubes. I got zombies. I got piggies. Like, between all this stuff, we're going to hit level 30 in absolutely no time. Yeah, I want to make sure we're getting optimal uh, spawns out of this. So I want to make sure the big guy has enough room to spawn. Sorry, boss. Look at that XP from all of them. Though. That's so fast. So you're probably wondering about the whole end situation. That's all spoke about in the next video because of the way that this has worked out. I haven't managed to get approval for the video yet. So don't worry. We've addressed that. Oh my goodness. I'm having a great time in here. I don't know about you guys. Look how fun this is. Is there anyone that sells magma crit? Ow. What the heck? Wait. Does the, does the death shop buy magma creams? I can make magma blocks. Okay, hold on. Let me go see. Does the death guy buy magma cream? That's the big question. I'm not sure if he would. Death vendor. No, he doesn't. Because that could have been an incredible way of making money. Like a really amazing way of making money. Will the potion lady sell it? Buy it? Sorry? Probably not, right? I don't think she sells or buys items. It's just the actual potions. No. Okay. Well, that's a shame. This is way more on fire than normal, right? What? I swear it is not usually this on fire. This is insane. What the heck? These are technically random items, dude. Don't worry about it. Okay, and now I've just done my little loot chest runs. I uh, didn't really get anything exciting. Mostly ender pearls, some golden apples, you know, the, the usual stuff. I'm going to try running into this place and grabbing stuff out of this uh, back room. Before everything spawns, that's my plan. Please let me in. Okay. Some diamond boots with bunny hop three. Uh, yeah, I think we'll put those on. Is that gonna make me jump high? Oh, I'm so excited, what the heck? Bunny hop three. Ow, what the heck? What does this do? Okay, so these boots are supposed to give us permanent jump level. But I don't think they're working properly. Because I'm definitely jumping the same amount or the same height as I was before. So to save some time, I did grab the quests in advance today. Uh, he wants us to consume a potion of poison too. Kill 10 creepers with an enchanted stone sword again. 
and fish a player, which is going to be impossible because there's no players online. So I'm going to have to wait for that one. So how did I do this last time? I've already done the potion of poison thing. Potion of poison, but I have to make it a potion of poison too, right? Okay, so we need glowstone dust, which I'm pretty sure I do have. It sounds mental in here. What is happening here? Okay, they're all spawning and dying in the wall, I think. Oh, you know what would work for the zombies, actually? What if I made it a gate? As we're in and out of the gate. That would work. Okay, so if I kill these guys... I just make it a gate instead. I should be able to walk in and out. Nice and easy. And they shouldn't be able to get through that, I don't think. Aha! Glowstone dust. See, I knew I had it. I knew it! Right, so we're going to go to the brewing stand. We've already fired this one up a little bit, so... Glowstone dust up here, and our potion of poison here. And that's going to give us a potion of poison too, which we can very quickly drink. And it's going to give us uh, the poison effect for 22 whole seconds, meaning that all my health will be gone. But it's okay. A gate works perfectly. And I'm managing to get most of the XP without even going in there. Amazing. This is done. Potion of poison too. Right. You know what? I'll even chug it in front of him just to make him feel better. Guys, how long has there been a warp amity? How long have we had this warp? What? Ha huh? How long have we had that? Because that would have been super useful to me and I didn't know we had it. Do you know how many times I ran to Amity Village? Oh my god. Okay, sir. I'm going to drink this right in front of you. I love you, Herobrine. Come on. Uh, you can try and catch me with this again. But uh, I think not. I'll have to try and convince someone else to wear the Herobrine armor. I don't know who though. I don't know who would wear it. Right, I really want to find a pirate ship. Uh, and the reason I want to find the pirate ship, I'll tell you, I'll be honest, is because I want fire charges. And I want fire charges so that I can attack a certain person's base very easily. So we're going to go looking for a pirate ship. I don't know how successful we're going to be. But I'm going to keep on running, basically in a straight line, right past Shovel's house. Um, and just see if we happen to bump into one. It'd be really useful if we did. So let's pray that we randomly bump into a pirate ship. And the good news is on my quest here is that it's getting dark. Now, most of the time, I'd be scared of that. But right now, I just really, really need to get to level 30 so I can start enchanting stuff. Um, because we've got a fight in the end coming up. At, why is there free XP here? Thanks, game. Yeah, we have a, uh, you know, a trip to the end coming up, and I want to make sure that we are as prepared as we can be. So I need to enchant my stuff. And we've been very, very, very unlucky with finding stuff, honestly. I've been so close to level 30 a bunch of times, and then I die for, like, a Herobrine quest and forget that that takes all my stuff off me. Wait a minute. Someone's already been here. Pretty rude and disrespectful, I think you'll agree. Okay, I guess I haven't slept in a little while. Because the phantoms are here. There's three phantoms too. That's I feel like that's quite a lot, honestly. I heard some horrible noises and looked up and was like, oh god. Okay, right. So good my shot is now. Bad. Oh my, you can't hit them with arrows? Okay, what I was gonna say, I mean, they're very weak. That is very annoying. Um, what I was gonna say is, I've made a boat because I'm gonna sail away. That's what I thought. Give me a phantom membrane. You can use these to fix elytras, right? Which is going to be useful because I'm going to have the first elytra on the server. And I... Oop! <gasps> oh my! That might be the best bow and arrow shot I've ever hit in my entire life. Okay, me. I see me. Nice. I'm going to boat away from this area. Because I don't know how far people have actually explored outside of the normal Kingdom Craft stuff. It's time to start branching out. It's time to start building places in random areas that aren't protected. Just to try and throw people off. I am boldly adventuring where no one else has adventured before, okay? People can say what they want about me. They might say, CPK, you're not even good at Minecraft. CPK, you don't even know Minecraft. CPK, you're so bad at PvP. Yeah? Well, you know what I am? Brave. I'm really brave. I do so much stuff that looks brave that it's actually just me being stupid. You'd honestly be blown away. And look at this. It turns out Kingdom Craft's on a massive island. I am cruising away right now. Look at this lonely skeleton. That's so sad. He spawned on an island with no one around him. He's got no way out. And he's never going to have another friend. Okay, honestly, after a good, like, four or five minutes of straight rowing, I appear to have hit another island. So let's take a look on here. Because there could be some, uh, could be some good stuff here. So I'm assuming I'm in a place where no one's ever been. I don't think anyone else is just patient, honestly. Because I've still got this quest to do as well. 
I was nowhere near here. That's sad. Let's explore this island. Now, the reason I'm excited is because there's going to be a whole bunch of potentially just completely unlooted areas. Um, you know, if there's any desert temples, any villages, any anything. No one's going to have been here yet. It is sadly starting to get daytime again already because I had to travel for so long in the blooming boat. But I think we should reach level 30 before I, uh, I need to go home. So that's still good. That's still a, a definite bonus from what we've done. Honestly, I can't even tell you how useful it is having a flame bow, man. Like getting cooked food when you kill something is just the absolute pinnacle of gaming, honestly. Well, bad news, guys. Nothing on this island at all. So you know what we do? We go to the next island because we don't care. We're traveling until we find something cool. That's the game today. So who knows how long this is going to take, but I'm not stopping until I find something cool. Okay, you deserve something cool. This video is going to be called something cool. Um, guys, did anybody know that Kingdom Craft had a world border? I certainly didn't. What on earth? Should I have known this? Is this public knowledge? Does everybody know that this exists? Okay, well, you know what? I'm no longer calling the video something cool. Although I'm sure I just got a load of comments saying, said he would call it something cool. Didn't call it something cool. But then you'll understand why once you get to this part. There's a world border? I'm so confused if we were supposed to know this. I reached the end of the world on Kingdom Craft. Everything just became so much more valuable. That means there's like, there's limited resources, guys. <gasps> Dolphins. Hi, guys. There are limited resources. I had no idea this was a thing. Did anyone else know this? Please let me know if anyone else knew this. Well, I am offended, honestly. Uh, I guess I'm not going to keep going that way. I'm going to have to go a different direction. What the heck? Oh, hello, icy biome. Look at this. Okay, so the world border, pretty cool. And you know what? Icy biomes, also pretty cool. What is this? Like, this isn't ice spikes, right? This is just like an icy, a regular icy biome. Oh, I like it. It's very, oh my goodness. There's a, there's a fortress thing here. What's it called? An elder guardian place. You guys know what I mean. Right on the edge of the world too. What are the chances? I kind of want to explore it, but I'm too scared. Is the loot good in those places? <gasps> a polar bear. Hi, buddy. Oh, do I sneak down here? I squeeze through. Nice. Okay, honestly, I am blown away at the discoveries I've made today. I can't believe it. I had no idea there was a world border. I'm not sure if I'm just the only player who didn't know it or what. I'm very confused. But I think that's pretty sick. It's a pretty cool thing to find. And now we're in this icy biome. And I'm going to let you guys decide whether or not I should try doing the blooming prismarine place down here. I'm a bit scared. I know Joel had a bad time there one time in uh, One Life, if you remember. When he tried to go down there and died. So uh, I'm a bit scared, honestly. But I'm going to leave it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're getting very close to 600,000 subs. I am in CPK, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.